welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. This is a little bonus video because I've been doing an Instagram hop today with Ellen Hudson to celebrate the start of National Craft Month. So we'll have lots of goodies and extra videos and content, all those fun things going on at this month to celebrate. But I did do an Instagram TV on how I made a card and I thought I would just hop in here and give you the same kind of overview. It's not a full tutorial, but what I've done is I've stretched something that's normally a Christmas die and a Christmas set of supplies into something that's very much not Christmas. So I thought you would appreciate those tips over here on YouTube. And I know sometimes a YouTube video is easier to find in future than an Instagram TV or a Facebook video. So here we are. This is the card I made for the Alan Hudson hop. Isn't it super cute? It's just something a little bit different. And what it is, is it allows you to look all the way through. So it's actually a concertina card. So you can see here how it grows. And if I open it all the way up, this is how it looks. Now I used the Alpine window die set. This is this one. So it's very much a kind of winter Christmassy uh, die set and I use the Snowfall dies. And I wanted to turn these into something that really weren't Christmas, and so you can stretch these into something that looks like an ocean scene like this. So how did I do it? Well, first of all, I took a piece of the Ellen Hudson acetate. As always, all of your links are gonna be in that video description for you. We also, this month, we're gonna have two tonic coupons. We have 30% off of all the Craft Perfect papers. We have 20% off the whole stamping category at Tonic. We have 10% off the whole Ellen Hudson store. We also have our Gina K coupon that expires tonight, March 1st. We have a coupon off the whole LDRS store for the month. And we're also gonna have some other exclusive coupons throughout the month. So you want to keep checking those video descriptions and also sign up to our Friday newsletter at thehedgehoghollow.com because we'll always send them out that way too. So we're gonna have lots of fun things coming up to celebrate National Craft Month and lots of crafty savings, what could be better? So you want to start off with a piece of the Ellen Hudson acetate. Now the reason you want that Ellen Hudson acetate is because it's nice and easy to die cut. It's thin enough to allow you to do all these fun things with, but it's going to be sturdy enough to hold up as your card base. So the piece you're gonna want is gonna be nine and three quarter inches wide. And you want it to be about three and three quarter inches tall. And then you're gonna score it at two places so that you have a piece like this. And you're gonna score it at three and a quarter inches. And the way I scored it was I took my score buddy and I didn't get a very good score with the tool that was in here. So I took my fine tip from my floral uh, set. You know that one that I used for those Nouveau drops? Check that top right hand corner if you wanna know how I make instant dry Nouveau drops with this little handy dandy tool. Um, but this is that same tool and I scored it on here three and a quarter inches um, from either end so that I had that nice panel in there. And then you're gonna find you get a really nice crease. You're gonna firm that crease up with your Teflon bone folder. And that is gonna score your acetate. And you're gonna be surprised how easy and how firm those score lines go in there once you've done that. So that's how you're gonna start. Once you've done that, you're gonna have a rectangular concertina card, with Z fold, Z fold, that kind of card. And then you're gonna take the base from your Alpine window. So you're gonna take this piece here and then going to put that into here. And there's a couple of key things you want to remember when you're die cutting. And I'm gonna pop it down on the surface just so I can show you the things you want to remember because your folds are going to be on the inside. So you're going to make sure that you have one fold of your, both of your folds here are gonna be on the inside. You don't wanna die cut over these folds because otherwise that card base is not going to stay there. You're gonna cut those folds and then you're gonna have three individual pieces of acetate. That's not gonna work. The other thing is you want to make sure that one of your sides is also within that bottom piece. And that's gonna give you a flat bottom to your card. The reason is my card stands up nicely like this. If both of my pieces were curved, my card just rolls straight over and that's no fun. So you want to make sure you have a nice firm base. And you're gonna have it like this and you're gonna die cut through all of these layers and it works. I did have to put it through a couple of times in my Gemini Junior, probably about three times I ran it through and I made sure that it was facing upright like this, ran it through and it worked perfectly. The other thing I did was I made sure I had my metal shim plate in there. That made all the difference and made sure it went through and it worked like a dream. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you open it up like this. 
and you're going to run through your alpine snowfall. Now, a snowfall like this, absolutely. But when you put it this way up, it looks like bubbles rising up out the ocean. It looks like bubbles in a champagne glass. It looks like bubbles rising up in an aquarium. Any kind of snowfall that you have, whether it's a snowfall stamp, a snowfall embossing folder, a snowfall die, turn it the other way up. You can use it the rest of the year for any kind of underwater, um, champagne, celebration, uh, aquarium, all those kinds of things. You can use it with all of these to create these fun the scenes. And doesn't it look like the bubbles are really kind of rising up out the sea into my little fishies? I think they look really cute. So that was my next step. Then I took the MFT Gill Friends and Beach Buds, which I just think are the cutest little stamp sets. I arranged them all into my Misty and this is my Misty tool. And if you watch Hedgehog Color regularly, you'll know all about my sticky grid tip, but I arranged them all into here. It took me two different sheets of paper to get all the ones I wanted, but I stamped them out twice. And I used my Gina K Amalgam ink, which if you watch this, you'll know I love this ink. It's a very Copic friendly ink. I also could have used watercolors, watercolor pencils, um, coloring pencils with Gamsol, you can use any coloring medium with this and you can mix and match with it, which is something I also really, really like. And of course, if you're watching this March 1st for the National Craft Day, you can still use your Gina K coupon with it too. So I stamped them out twice and then I used my Scan and Cut to cut them out because I don't buy coordinating dies anymore. If you want to know why I bought Scan and Cut, again, you can check that top right hand corner for my reasons to buy. But what it can do is it can cut out your designs. I decided to cut on the line. You can also cut um, inside the line, outside the line, and you can set your kind of outlines and things. But for me, I wanted it on the line because I knew I was gonna put it on the acetate and I knew that that was what was gonna work perfectly for my card design. So that's what I did. And then I colored them in using Copics. And you can use any coloring medium you wanted to, whatever works perfectly for you. So that's what I did colored them in using my Copics. I also added some little white dots. So if we go through each layer, you can see. So here's my cool crab. Isn't he just the cutest? I think he's absolutely real cool kind of dude there. My little birthday fishes is on a piece of white stamped with my amalgam. I used my Gina K Connect glue and it worked really well on acetate. I tried a couple of glues that didn't work, but the Connect worked perfectly. It's actually stuck on the reverse side, so it just shines through, and I think that works really nicely too. It gives a bit more dimension. And I add a little bit of Copic white on his sunglasses. I also added it on the dots here on the fish, my lovely pink fish, and then here. On my next layer, I added some of those Copic white dots on my puffer fish. I added them on my blue dory, and I didn't actually add any on this one. I added a few on my little starfish down at the front here. They are really tiny, but they just kind of add that little bit of extra detail. But when you look through my scene, I haven't actually covered up any of the fish. You kind of looks like they are all swimming together very happily in their aquarium, in their ocean all together. And if I allow this to just kind of open up just a little bit, whoops, you can see there, you can allow them just that little bit of depth as though you're actually looking into the scene, which I just think is really cool. And it's nice to be able to stretch your supplies into something that's not what they're meant for. So you can take that something that you may have bought that set for Christmas and for the holidays and thought, well, okay, it's great. I'm gonna get it out again next Christmas. But now you can get it out, you can use it the whole year through. And as I say, take any of those snowfalls, turn them the other way up, and then you have bubble scenes. And I'm sure lots of us have fish and crabs and sharks and all of those kinds of things. I mean, frogs, they're really trendy to have all these kind of underwater scenes. And now you can use your Christmas scenes with snowfalls, just turn them the other way up. So I hope you found that tip useful. As I say, don't forget to check out all those exclusive Hedgehog Hollow coupons. We have lots more coming throughout the month and we're gonna have that as a regular feature here. You can also check out our Friday newsletter where we send them to your email 
at thehedgehoghollow.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications for our daily tips, tricks, hauls, all those fun things, techniques, so many things we have here at Hedgehog Hollow. And give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tip as well of how to stretch your Christmas supplies throughout the year. And I'll see you again soon. I'm actually gonna have another video tonight. This was just a kind of impromptu thing because I thought it might be useful to have it here on YouTube too. I'll see you again soon. Happy stamping everyone. Bye.